What is going on guys? Dylan Merwe here. Welcome back to NASCAR Thunder 2004 for race 2 through 6. The Rockingham at North Carolina Speedway for running the Rockingham 400. I just pretend it's this track got lights. All I gotta say is just pretend that track got lights. Got lit up. Kind of similar to Martinsville. Just pretend that happened to it. Make it easier on us all. We're going to bring the Capital Peak Chevrolet to the green flag. We finished 15th in base on the 500. Um, definitely not on off to a good start in this lap after scraping the wall. Coming off of four, we are going to begin the lap right now. We start seventh. Best believe we're going to be doing another one. Yeah, we won. And the first poll of the year, you know, first actual poll of the year goes to Capital Peak. Let's go. Welcome, everyone, to Rockingham, North Carolina for NASCAR Winston Cup Racing at The Rock. This is Joe Moore and Barney Hall, and we're glad you could join us. What can you tell us about this track, Barney? Well, this track is deceiving the drivers who are new here. It's wide and fast in most places, but in the corners, they'll have to slow up more than they expect. Otherwise, the wall will sneak up and bite them on the exit, especially in turn two. The 115 car is becoming an excellent friend on the track with the 17 car. A driver's attitude towards you can drastically change how he races you. And when a driver gets along well with you, just makes things a whole lot easier when you come across them on the racetrack. Ryan Newman won 2002 Rookie of the Year honors after an impressive sixth place finish in the points. That was a great rookie battle that came down to the last race of the season. This guy should have a long and successful cup career to look forward to. <laughs> he sucks ass. You just keep expecting to break out and have a good year. Yeah, you do, but he's got a ton of talent and some good equipment. He's shown he can win and run up front. Now he's just got to string some success together and gain some confidence out there. So there's any uh, alternates in the field today. I start next to the 38 car with Elliot Sadler. Here in this race. And no alternates. Since Sterling Marlin won last week at Daytona, he is the point so He will be starting in the. Wow, we'll be starting towards the back. I haven't didn't see him there. So the goal here at this place, try to survive, make as many friends as possible. Um, this track, I get very freaking tight easily on that track uh, in this place. Um, this is not really one of my better tracks in this game. I very rarely win, but I do have good runs. So um, kind of shoots that. Kind of an oxymoron there. Um, here we go. Pace car is off. Me and Elliot Sadler are going to bring the field to the green flag at Rockingham. Oh, Junior.
Junior almost spun us coming to turn three, but I I lead the first lap today. Savvy leads the first lap at Rockingham. Here I come. I'm going to crowd him on the outside. Three wide behind me. Savvy's going to lose a couple spots. I'm going to go on the outside and put myself in a tight three wide situation with the eight of Junior. I had to get out of the gas. Big shit. I need to get down to the bottom. Please let, let me down to Elliot. Thank you. Thank you, Bill Elliott. You are my Lord and Savior. You are the Lord and Savior of the field. Try to alleviate some of that off him. You know? um, since I kind of did let him push me a little wall. Stuart looking to the inside. He's got a pretty big run. Side by side for ninth, I believe. Look, I'm trying to survive early on. I don't want to die. I don't want to die this early in the race. Thanks. Get me to the bottom, please. And you. And you. Fun fact, the NASCAR App Cup Series is going to race here, next, race here uh, March 4th. Three wide, three wide between uh, Bill Elliott and Elliott Sadler. Get a couple spots there. Sadler's going to get the wall. I'm going to try to get by the keep Stewart behind me. I got two of my favorites basically in front of me and behind me. I got Gordon in the 24. I'm going to give him a little bit of space so he doesn't, you know, freak out and break check me. Um, Stewart, I just let by on the bottom like a dumbass. Um, it is fairly hard to share draft at this track because you want to give the guy as much room as possible. Um, but at the same time, you don't want to be, you know, too far back for fear you're going to get hit in the ass. Oh, shit. Gordon. Gordon fucking flew in there. Damn. Kamikaze this shit. Kamikaze the corner. Trying to kamikaze my ass. Shit, this car is tight. Sorry about that, Tony. Bill Elliott, give me room, you dumbass. Thank you. Um, Jeff Gordon finally cracks the top five. Damn it. Oh, God. Gonna go over the 10 and Johnny Benson take sixth from him. See if I can get Michael Walter from the 15 going into one. Oh, Walter fights back. Trying to get back into the top five. I kind of dropped him out. Gordon's like okay, Gordon's like that Jeff Gordon right now is like that girl that's like Pay attention to me when you're trying to talk to somebody else. <laughs> right there, because I'm trying to draft a junior, and Gordon just comes up and chops me like, bro, bro, I'll get to you soon. Chill out. And Okay, by the way, this part is high as fuck. Okay, I'm going to go on record and say this car is fucking high as hell. Wall trip in the 15. And try to oh, Jesus fucking Lord. Lord of living. Up to fifth. Two 
set. Time to stay behind. So I'm gonna give him as much room as possible because I don't want him to break check me in turn one and I run in the back of him. Bobby Labonte is so far taking on an early lead here at North Carolina. Ricky Craven is in second. Junior and Jeff Gordon are battling for third. I'm currently sitting pretty in fifth um, right now. I'm sitting pretty in fifth, trying to give Gordon as much room as possible. I'm currently, basically, I'm trying my best to save as much, much of my car as possible for the end, because we all know that's what this race is going to be. And here comes Jeff Gordon to make his begin the round. The green flag stops. Oh Jesus! Whoa. Oh, shit. Missing pit road. Huge implications as the caution comes out. And I nearly get clobbered by the 10 of Johnny Benson. I entered pit road. I was trying to enter behind Jeff, and I hit the tires. I have to pit now. If I don't pit, it's a death sentence. If I don't pit, it's a death sentence. I probably should have waited, but waiting until I came around. So a couple cars are staying, actually staying out, believe it or not. Um, we're going to free the car up about half a turn. I don't really have much damage. Um, you see, uh, oh, I forgot to mention Kyle Petty is running the Brawny paint scheme. Even though it's not much of a difference other than, you know, different spots are on the hood. All right. The Capital Peak Chevrolet. The Safety Clean Capital Peak Chevrolet. Currently um, out of Prospect Ridge Racing. <laughs> I'm low-key making this shit up as I go. Currently doing some pit stops. So far, we're doing going pretty damn slow. 18 seconds. Ah, right. Now we're coming out behind the 11 of Brett Bodine. Um, so this restart's going to be a shit show. I restart 30th. The green flag is back into the air. Tony. Bro. Oh, shit. Big wreck. Big wreck. Fuck. This race just went to shit. That race just went to complete shit. I'm, I'm screwed now. So Tony Stewart and Kurt Busch just crashed. Jeff Gordon currently is the leader of this Rockingham 400. Right now. All right, I'm going to put around, put a turn in this. It's super hard to pass in this, pass this track. So, uh, sorry, Tony Stewart and, um, and to Kurt Bush and the guys that I ended up getting wrapped in, wrapped into this. Um, sorry, Greg Biffle. So Biffle's done. Stewart is done. Um, as we work our second caution of this race. I had to pit, otherwise I'd have been screwed. I'd have been just a, I'd have been a walking debris caution. Greg Biffle got in that and flew over me and is still driving his damn car. 
Whoa, Hermie Sadler. Bro, calm down. Hermie Sadler, Hermie, please calm down. Oh, God damn it. Sorry about that, Mike Skinner, but you're probably going to be running in the back all the way. I got to get to the front, like, right now. I need, like, a bunch of guys in front of me to crash. Wow, Brett Bodine chopped this off right there. Um, oh, we got one down in the apron. David Green's got some damage from that incident. From that last incident. So there's... Oh, Jesus. Big wreck. Robbie Gordon, Christian Fittipaldi, and David Green. Car got tied again. Sorry about that. Car got tight. Now David Green's going to be a dick. And now we're down to 40 cars on the racetrack. And uh, sorry, Kyle Petty, for that earlier incident. Um, oh, God. A couple cars are pitting, and yet we are on our fourth caution of the race. Debris on the racetrack. Mike Skinner comes to take me out. I get into the 31 of Robbie Gordon as we slow to the caution. Oh, sorry. It's the 43 that had the debris. Four laps to go. Basically, I'm just going to get all I can. So all y'all can fuck right off. <laughs> Shit. Oh, God. Jerry Nader. Oh, Jerry Nader, you can fucking die. Probably the best thing for me to hear is to get, like, a top 20. We're going to go three, almost four wide going into turn one to get past three cars. Four wide just for one position. As it looks to me that it's going to be Ryan Newman's day. And the caution is out. Now the white flag is out. We take the caution flag. This may be end this race. This ends the race and... Ryan Newman is going to be the winner. This one's over. We sure saw a lot of yellow flags. Well, lots of cautions usually mean only one thing, a lot of damaged race cars. I know the teams aren't happy about that. The 115 car didn't do anything to improve his standing with the other drivers out there. Because my car's a tight piece of shit, that's why. Being competitive. Sometimes these instincts get a little out of hand. Should be fun to see what happens. Not like next. Denny Hamlin driving oh, bubble walls into the fence. MRN. We hope you enjoy tonight's race. So long. We'll see you next week at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Y'all making it sound like I'm Denny Hamlin. <laughs> so I pissed off a lot of drivers. Enough said. Ryan Newman wins tonight. Rockingham. Ricky Rudd finishes second. Jimmy Johnson finishes third. Jeff Gordon finishes fourth. Dale Earnhardt Jr. finishes fifth. Ricky Craven finishes sixth. Dale Jarrett finishes seventh. Bobby Labonte finishes eighth. Joni Mcheck finishes ninth. And Matt Kenseth finishes tenth. Terry Labonte finishes eleventh. Rusty Wallace finishes twelfth. Bill Elliott finishes thirteenth. Jeff Burton finishes fourteenth. Jamie McMurray finishes fifteenth. Kevin Harvick finishes sixteenth. Elliott Sadler finishes seventeenth. Kurt Busch finishes eighteenth. Mark Martin finishes nineteenth. And Michael Walter finishes 20th in that average speed, though. Holy crap. 
three cars fell out of the race due to problems from the um, my second half autism, or sorry, second half stupidity. Um, we got Hermie Sadler, Jack Sprague, and Tony Stewart out of the race. And let's go ahead and go to standings, probably messing things up. I mean, hey, at least we kind of get the shit out of the way now. So, anyways, we're going to be at Las Vegas Motor Speedway for the UW Down with Chrysler 400. I'm going to try to talk over this as much as possible because if this song gets registered by copyright, I'm going to get this video blocked. And YouTube's copyright police hates me. So, if I can go to stats, um, Ricky Rudd is the points leader, after, early points leader through all this. I'm 19th in points. Probably the lowest I've ever been so far in a NASCAR Let's Play. There are about four drivers I want to kick my ass. Um, two true friends. Um, three people that will help me if they have to. And yeah. Next race is going to be at Las Vegas for the run of the UW Damla Chrysler 400. Make sure you stay tuned for that.